Out of Ryan O'Neill's four children, just one showed up for his funeral ceremony last week. Griffin, his son, insisted he wasn't even invited. The 82-year-old actor, who was nominated for an Oscar, passed away on December 8th in Los Angeles from congestive heart failure. He was buried on Saturday next to his longtime partner, Farrah Fawcett, whose acquaintances claim she preferred to be cremated and have her ashes sent to Texas rather than be buried. His only child, Patrick O'Neill, was present for the funeral. Notably missing were his three surviving children, Griffin, 59, Redmond, 38, and daughter Tatum, 60. Griffin claimed he wasn't informed about the service after the wedding. I wasn't even invited to send him off, he revealed to the Post. I am the despised son who came clean. This family is going through dark times. Ryan never apologized to anyone because he believed that love requires no regrets. From their early years, O'Neill and his son Griffin had a tumultuous connection. Griffin stated, My life has been a reign of drug and alcohol degradation in a 2015 interview with People. I've always had to take pain medication on my own since it hurts all over. My family lived with drugs all day, every day, all over the place. Griffin previously claimed that when he was just 11 years old, his father gave him cocaine in a 2009 interview with Vanity Fair. He was a narcissistic, violent psychopath. He becomes so enraged that he loses all control over his actions. Additionally, Fawcett's pals informed the New York Post that she preferred to be cremated and have her ashes repatriated to Texas rather than be buried in Los Angeles. She never wanted a burial or a monument where people could come gawk at her, her beau from University of Texas told the Post. Ryan wrote this story as though it were a grand love tale. After dating for a while in the late 1970s, O'Neill and Charlie's Angels actress Fawcett welcomed their son Redmond into the world in 1985. From 1979 to 1997, when he was discovered having an affair with actress Leslie Stephenson, the two were a couple. Tatum, O'Neill's daughter, claimed that her father had violently beaten Fawcett following their breakup. He was quite violent and had a bad temper. She said he beat her up. In 2001, Fawcett and O'Neill resumed their romantic relationship. Three different ladies gave birth to O'Neill's children. Tatum and Griffin, his eldest children, were born to his first spouse, the actress Joanna Moore. Lee Taylor Young, an actress, gave birth to Patrick and Fawcett to his fourth kid, Redmond. In a 2009 interview with Vanity Fair, O'Neill acknowledged that he was a hopeless father. I'm not sure why. I don't believe that fatherhood was meant for me. Just have a look at my work. They ought to be in jail or already are.